Hello, YouTubers, fellow hams, RVers. It's a chilly day down here on the Gulf today. I am literally five blocks from the Gulf of Mexico in the vicinity of Corpus Christi, which is in southern, the southern third of the state of Texas. And uh, not that far, really, uh, from the Gulf, from temperate weather. You know, the ocean is supposed to temper, temper things. Well, the cold snap came through, and uh, it was 40 degrees here this morning. Now, I have a 900-watt space heater in here that's running full on. And the temperature in here is uh, 66 degrees, which is comfortable. That's about what I would have kept it in the house back, in, uh, back up north and in northern Indiana. So uh, I'm comfortable. The wind is howling, though. Uh, they had a gale warning in the, uh, in the Gulf uh, last night for ships. It was uh, 25 to 35 mile per hour winds with gusts. Um, occasionally they would howl and the RV would rock a bit. My antennas stayed up. Uh, anyway, enough chatter. What I'm here to talk about today is these, and I'll, I'll show it to you here in a second, this QJE power supply that I have in my power control center. It's a 30 amp switch mode power supply. Uh, there are several uh, brands that use this same OEM manufacturer, whoever it is. I think Tech Power is the original manufacturer, but Alinko, QJE, uh, several others that I've found that I'll be throwing pictures up of right now. Um, and they're all real similar. And one thing that they have is they have this frequency control on mine. I'll have to get my glasses out to read what they label it. But basically it adjusts the frequency of the switching power supply. Noise offset is uh, what they call it on mine. Um, and the reason that that's there is to allow you to dial the interference that it generates away from the frequency that you're operating at. Now, I did a quick look. I didn't see any videos talking about it or demonstrating how to use it. Um, there probably is one or two out there that I just didn't find, but I thought I'd do one myself because there's also a very annoying tendency that it has that I'm going to show you. It wanders. It doesn't stay where you set it, and that bothers me a bit. But we'll talk about how to use it here in a moment. Let me fire the radio up, reposition the camera, and I'll show you what the noise it generates looks like and how you use the control to eliminate that interference. I have the radio on 40 meters. Oh, listen. There you go, right there. You see that? That little traveling bump of noise moving up the spectrum scope? That's coming from the power supply. That's what it generates. Now, we can chase it. Where'd it go? There we go. You can see how it wanders. Um, you figure it would stay still, but it doesn't. It wanders. Uh, sometimes it will, uh, will meander back and forth, too. Um, this time it's just wandering upwards. So let me see if I can find a bigger... Usually there's a very large node. There's another one. Now I can prove to you that that's coming from the power supply. Let me get ahead of it here. I'm going to reach up and I'm going to turn the control on the power supply. You can see how I'm moving the noise back and forth. So theoretically what you can do if, if you're operating on a frequency and you've got this interfering noise, you can adjust that noise offset to get rid of it. The problem is, it wanders. It moves around. So although I've tuned it off the frequency that I want to operate on, it's still out there 
moving up the band and you can see here it comes on the spectrum scope right over here making its way towards my operating frequency <sighs> so you know that control is is useful but it's not perfect if it was perfect that noise wouldn't wander it would stay in one spot and you could adjust it away from your operating frequency and happily operate away but what's going to happen is uh, several of those noise bands are going to be generated and they're going to wander up the band like that. And about every 10 to 15 minutes, I find, if I'm sitting on a frequency, I will need to reach up and adjust again. <laughs> but that's the kind of noise that it generates. And um, it seems like as the power supply warms up, the behavior changes. You can see now that that noise is not moving as fast as it was and is occasionally waggling a little bit. See that? There, it stopped moving up, and now it's moving again. Um, eventually, <clears throat> it may even change directions. It might start wandering in the other direction. So that's kind of annoying. Now, I have the QJE model of this power supply, but I'm certain that the main board in there is the same on all the different makes and manufacturers. So I would imagine if you have one of these supplies, you're going to see that same wandering behavior. Yeah, see, now it's moving even slower. But anyway, that's what the noise looks like. That's what it's generating, and that's what that offset control is for, um, and how you can use it to adjust the noise away on your uh, power supply. So there you go. That's how you can use that noise offset, or whatever they label it on your particular supply, to dial away the interference that the uh, switch mode power supply can cause on your HF radio. I hope you found that useful and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what else we can come up with for the next video. Uh, by the way, tonight I'm going to be doing my first ever live stream HF Hangout from the RV. Uh, let's see, in the order of videos you'll have seen that probably before you see this one so you'll already know about it. Uh, but uh, I'm, I haven't done it yet so I'm hoping that it's successful. <laughs> And if it wasn't successful, you won't even see this bit of the commentary because I'll edit it out. But I think it'll be successful. So anyway, uh, 73 to the hams. Um, to everybody else, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.